hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also this folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today today's tutorial is about how to uh, create a, and place a wall skirting along the interior side of the walls and also about how you can calculate its total length uh, about how much skirting you need for your project and before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime so now let's move towards our tutorial now this is a room with four walls and two doors one sliding and a one flush door so we need to place the skirting along these four walls and towards the interior side for that uh, first of all let's create the profile of the skirting for that open a new family template file of profile and open it and here draw the profile for the uh, skirting according to the design and according to your requirements and the dimensions which you want to place and draw it here with the help of this draw box tools After creating the profile as this enclosed loop, save this and load it into the project. Now you can see that in the plan mode, the wall sweep command is not usable. So for that, uh, go to the view tab because we need to place the interior elevation symbols and from here select this interior elevation and place these symbols on these four sides of the walls because we need elevations interior elevations for them so here in the R project browser we have this interior elevation section and you can rename them according to your uh, according to your wish and 
now we have the interior elevations of all of the walls on which we want to place the skirting now in the architecture tab select this wall sweep command click on it and place it like this here and then click on restart wall sweep so we have a wall sweep like this here so select it and it go to the level one floor plan and you can see that it is not what we want because it has created a by default wall sweep we have to load the we have to load the profile here so click on edit type make a duplicate of it rename it as skirting and from here select the profile which you have drawn and save by the name you can assign the material to the skirting from here now click ok and go to the level 1 floor plan and still it is not visible so because the sweep has been created within the wall which we don't want it should be outside the wall so for that open the uh, profile template file in which we have created the profile of the skirting and select it and let's move it towards the right side of the reference plane now again save this and load it into the project and overwrite the existing version and now it is moved to outside towards the outside side outside and in the elevation it is still the lines of the profile is still not visible so it should be mirrored so for that select this profile and mirror it and again it should be towards the right side like this let's now save this file and load it into the project override the existing version and now you can see that our profile is visible and it is cor correctly placed on the wall and as it should not overlap the frame you can change the dimension by dragging this blue dot now go to the elevation to and again apply the wall sweep command here and again it has placed that same uh, cornish wall sweep which we don't want so for that you can see it in the elevation in the level one floor plan as well so select it and change this to skirting and now it is okay now go to elevation 3 again apply the wall sweep command like this and now go to elevation 4 and again apply the wall sweep command now the skirting for the room is now complete it looks like this you can see how it is how it looks like in the 3d and how it is joined at 45 degree angle towards the corner and you can see that how easy it is to create to create and place a skirting for the interiors for the interiors in revit
Now let's calculate the total length required for this cutting. For that, in the project browser, right click on the schedule quantities and click on new schedule quantities and from this dialog box, go below and in this wall section, please select this wall sweeps and in the name category let's rename it as wall skirting and set the phase as new construction because it is a new construction and then click ok and from here let's select this length field where is it Yeah, it is below the keynote ah, yeah, this one so now click on this arrow it appears here and then click ok so we have our new tab in which we have all the values of each wall about how much skirting we need on that wall so if you go to the level 1 floor plan let's check the dimension the length of this wall is 23 feet 4 inches and if we subtract the width of the door and its frame then the length of the skirting is given here which is 19 feet 10 inches so the length given is the of the skirting value and for the other side 23 feet minus 4 inches 23 feet 4 inches minus 6 feet 2 inches is 17 feet 2 inches and these two walls do not have any opening so this length remains as 15 feet 4 inches so you can see how easy it is, how easy it is to calculate the total length of the skirting required for and you can also add new sections in the schedule and quantities for the skirting so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe